Welcome to day two. At this point, we have isolated the DNA, broken it into random 3 kb pieces, inserted the pieces into the vector, and forced those plasmids into E. coli bacteria. The bacterial colonies have had about 20 hours to grow on the medium containing ampicillin and X gal. The E. coli bacteria divide about every 20 minutes. So in 20 hours, we have about a million bacteria per colony. On this plate, we have three different kinds of bacteria. The first is the bacteria that did not receive a plasmid. You can't see them because they are dead. That's 99.9% .9 of the transformation stock that did not receive a plasmid. They did not get the gene for antibiotic resistance from the plasmids. The second kind is the blue ones here. They received a plasmid and the gene for ampicillin resistance. However, if you remember, certain plasmids did not incorporate a sheared segment of DNA in the middle of the LAC-Z gene. So these blue colonies have the PUC18 plasmid, but the plasmid has a functioning LAC-Z gene, which means that they do not contain the DNA we want. Finally, we have these white colonies. These colonies received a plasmid, and that plasmid had a fragment of the genomic DNA inserted in the LAC-Z gene, which disrupts its function. All of these white colonies together more or less contain the sum of the original long 150 to 200 kilobase source strand of DNA we started with. All these plates that contain the same genome are together called a library. Each of the white bacterial colonies arose from a single bacterium, which took a single plasmid with a single clone fragment of DNA. So we have effectively separated each fragmented segment of the original DNA strand and replicated it a million times and we can actually see it right here. The next step is to transfer these E. coli cells on this bioassay to a 384 well microtiter plate. This plate contains liquid medium, which promotes the growth of the bacterial cells. This plate has also allowed us to automate this process from this step forward. The QPix machine here uses an imaging system to identify and pick the white colonies from each auger plate and place them in a well of these microtiter plates. At this point, the plates are placed into the incubator to grow for another 18 to 20 hours.